Ahoy mates, Julie here, and welcome to Monday's episode of The Voters TV. And we are still working our way through all the fabulous footage and fascinating stories we tracked down at the 48th Annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. And speaking of fabulous, if you notice this pretty pink t-shirt I've got on, well, there's a boat show story behind this one. You'll have to hang on for that though, because first up today, we've got a special announcement to make in Ship's Domain. Well, you pretty much have to be living at the bottom of the ocean for the last year not to have heard about the website Facebook.com, a social networking site that's grown from a one-time Ivy League college student-only site in 2004 to now encompass everyone from corporate executives to single moms to members in nearly every country in the world. As of October 2007, Facebook has over 42 million active members worldwide and expects to pass 60 million users by the end of the year. And with regard to boating, here's a fascinating stat. A quick search on Facebook of people who are involved in boating and boating related activities just in the United States alone yields 422,520 people. Something else to note, back in May of this year, Facebook launched the Facebook platform, which provides a framework for web developers to create what are known as applications that interact with core Facebook features. Facebook users can download anything from a map feature sponsored by TripAdvisor to show where all they've traveled in the world, to a U.S. politics application developed by ABC News, where you can show support for your choice, federal or local candidate. As of October 24, 2007, there are more than 6,500 applications, including, da 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 da, Boatbook an application that we developed to interact with our sister site, theboaters.com. This means that if you are currently on Facebook and you're a boat owner or even an aspiring boat owner, because remember, you don't have to own a boat to have a profile on theboaters.com, then you can either set up your new profile from within Facebook or if you're already on theboaters.com, simply provide your login and password information when prompted and import all the scoop related to your theboaters.com profile into Facebook. This will allow you to show off your boat or boats, meet other boaters on Facebook, and more importantly, as it's the point of it all, share your boating experiences in an exciting online community. Next up, while perusing the third floor of the convention center at the boat show, I spotted an array of pink at one of the booths. And, well, it lured me in. Check out what I came across. Okay, I'm here with Claudia Espenscheid, and she is with Fish and Chicks, which is fishandchicks.com, but also Correct. just Fish and Chicks. And you've got so much going on. You are the founder and CEO of this company, and why don't you tell everyone a little bit about how it came to be? Well, Fish and Chicks started with all these hurricanes that hit the Gulf Coast. Ivan, Arlene, Cindy, Dennis, Katrina, hurricanes and tropical storms, and my house was pretty much destroyed. I was a Merrill Lynch financial advisor, and frankly, with two small children, I felt like Honestly, this primitive instinct kind of kicks in, and I need to learn how to feed my people. I live on the water. Walmart's closed, you know, and you need a new skill set. Your company does so much. You have fishing tournaments. You've got the merchandising, which gets me excited. All these pink shirts behind me makes me want to go out and the fishing boots, which we'll have to show here in a second. And then you've even got a pilot for a TV show, right? Coming yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. I mean, once I started fishing, you know, like any girl, I'm like, okay, what am I going to wear? You kind of want to look cute. Well, cute fishing was totally an oxymoron before we came along. We're like, there's nothing cute. So we decided to kind of fill that niche, number one. And then the fishing tournaments sprung from that as more and more women wanted to become involved with fish and chicks who'd never fished before. And 50% of our women had never fished before. And I'm like, just try it. And I promise you're going to get hooked. And sure enough, I mean, you take them out on the boat and that unadulterated joy, that scream that you hear from somebody who's catching their first fish. I mean, it's like a kid at Christmas. It's really great. And so everything is kind of snowballed and is evolving into now. Yes, we've got the TV show. We just filmed, um, well, our second show and we have members all over. Yeah. Tell football. me about the membership. If somebody becoming a member of Fish and Chicks. And by the way, it's, it's uh, spelled it out for us for the web. Okay. Website. It's uh, F I S A. H I N no G because we're from the South and then C H I X dot com. C H I X. X Right. Okay, now the membership then, what does that entail? When you join for $50 a year, 
you basically get maybe seventy dollars worth of stuff. You know, you have your fish and goddess shirt, and you have a national member shirt. You have your little bait bucket you can carry around with you, a koozie for your diet Pepsi or whatever you're drinking, or whatever. <laughs> and exactly, and you're set to go. Then we communicate with you via email or the newsletter, which is the bi-monthly chum, and let you know what's going on, the trips we're planning, about our tournaments, and we've had people fly in from all over the country now to start participating in our tournament series and we support Covenant Hospice and their children's programs so that's kind of a unique way for us to give back to the community too. Based out of Pensacola, Florida, so your tournaments are all in uh, in 2008, we're definitely going to have a tournament in Pensacola, in Orange Beach, Alabama, in Destin, possibly Panama City, and possibly Biloxi. So, yeah. Wow. Well, congratulations on everything. That's wonderful. Efficientchicks.com. And check it out. The ladies even gave me my very own gut rag for productive and fashionable fishing. Something else interesting we learned from the ladies at the Fish and Chicks booth was that last year in the state of Florida, one-third of the people who purchased fishing licenses were female. Definitely proof that fishing's a sport not just for you salty sea dogs anymore. And finally today, it's time for our Boat Test Reports Feature of the Week, where today, and you pontoon boat lovers will dig this, tester Captain Bob Smith introduces us to the 8522 Sun Chaser from Smokercraft. Today I'm taking a look at the 8522 Sun Chaser. Now this one's going to have a lot of great features on it. As you can see here, we've got a full camper enclosure. Your family's going to love that if you spend the night out on the water. We've even got a changing room inside that doesn't take up a lot of extra space. A lot of great features on board, so come on board. Let's take a look at the 8522 Sun Chaser. Sun Chaser uses custom molded helms, rounded bow edges, and plush 22-ounce carpet to pamper you underway. Cushions are extra thick for comfortable long-range cruising. When serving snacks, a round dinette table quickly sets up in the bow seating area with built-in cup holders for four. Gauges on the 8522 include an analog fuel, trim, speed, tack, and voltmeter. While driving, the skipper won't feel isolated. Passengers are only a few feet away lounging in the large L-shaped seating area in the stern. The Sun Chaser 8522 Cruiser is 22 feet 3 inches length overall with a 102 inch beam. She weighs 1,950 pounds dry and carries 24 gallons of fuel. I found her top speed to be 26.6 miles per hour at 6,000 RPMs and her cruise speed to be 16.1 miles per hour at 4,000 RPMs. At cruise, you can expect about 116 miles on a full tank of fuel. Time to plane was 3.9 seconds. The 8522 was a smooth handling pontoon boat that took to the rough chop as easily as it maneuvered around the docks. So be sure and take a look at the 8522 Sun Chaser. Thanks to Boat Test for that report. For more on the Smokercraft 8522 Sun Chaser, cruise on over to Boat Test's website at www.boattest.com. And that's a wrap on this episode of The Boaters TV. Join us back here on Wednesday. And until then, safe and happy boating to you all. Take care. This episode of The Boaters TV has been brought to you by the term Finnish Minnow, one of the best and most consistently producing lure designs for catching sea bass. And you should check out this neon pink version at fishandchicks.com, which should ensure that any fish you catch are simply fabulous.